The Universe Sim aims to give you the powers of a god and unleash you upon the universe to begin forging your galactic empire in the stars. You have the ability to influence their decisions and change the way in which your civilization evolves, like choosing their research path and what kind of technology they develop. However, you cannot take direct control of them. You can attempt to end wars between cities and help usher in an age of discovery and technological advancement. Or you can watch as they destroy one another and bring about an age of chaos. We like to think of this as organic gameplay, almost as though you're managing your own ant farm. The AI will make many of its own decisions, but you'll still be there to keep them alive and happy. We believe this makes for a very fun and dynamic gameplay experience. Your civilization will begin in the Stone Age and slowly progress until they advance beyond the modern era, moving into the age of intergalactic exploration and colonization. You'll play a major role in their development, particularly in research and evolution. Research decisions can be challenging at times. For example, your early people will probably not get very far without the ability to create fire for warmth and protection. And when your growing tribe is threatened by a pack of vicious beasts, maybe inventing the wheel is a milestone that can take a back seat to researching something like stone weapons. Buildings and society will evolve as you progress from era to era, and certain special buildings will become available with research into particular technologies. After placing an epicenter, the heart of a city, on a suitable location, buildings will slowly begin to develop around it. They'll be constructed dynamically by your population as their numbers grow. However, special buildings, like epicenters, can be placed wherever you choose. In the Universe Sim, resources play a major role in the game. They govern the integrity and growth of your civilization. Resources can be used in various ways. To create new technologies, to expand your empire, to research exciting or life-saving inventions and so much more. This is what makes intergalactic exploration so important in the space age. The space era will be the culmination of all your hard work. This is where you'll begin to discover all the beauty and mercilessness of alien planets. Every planet you encounter in the game will be as unique and vibrant as the last. You'll come across planets with varying temperatures and environmental conditions as well as a wide range of characteristics that make them incredibly special. Planets will also undergo the changing of seasons, which can affect the many environmental biomes on the planet. This can have a major effect on things like the gathering of food and resources, as well as the development of buildings. For instance, you may come across a planet with very little oxygen. The issue can be resolved by making use of atmosphere generators, which consume resources, or you can simply plant more trees which generate air far more slowly, but without consuming resources. You'll also encounter a variety of different natural resources which range from common to rare. They're what make the colonization process worth it. Be warned though, you have better come prepared. If adequate research about the planet is not done, it may result in the untimely demise of your colonization team. The universe sim is driven by dynamic events, natural disasters, alien visitors, diseases, wars, famine, riots and so much more can be thrown at your civilization at any time. All of these factors and how you play the game contribute to population growth and development. The way in which you fight certain disasters changes from era to era. Cavemen do not exactly have PhDs in science and the knowledge to create cures, for instance. However, you too can trigger disasters if you're displeased with your civilization's choices. With every action they perform that displeases you, you generate wrath, and then you can unleash your wrath upon them at any time. Every now and then, something mysterious may fall upon one of your planets. You can then prepare an expedition to investigate these rare occurrences if you so wish. However, caution is advised. It may be an incredible gift, such as new technology or a valuable research, or a deadly virus that can quickly spread through your cities. Or it can be an explosive compound that, upon disturbing, wipes out part of the planet. One more feature that we're really excited to implement is the dynamic news system. It'll keep you informed about important game events in a humorous way. We hope to eventually give players the ability to write their own stories for the game and share them with the community. There'll be no DRM for the game whatsoever, and an internet connection is not required for activation or play. However, an internet connection can allow for an even more dynamic and entertaining experience by making things like the community-driven live news system available, among other features.